So uh, this is uh, Crisis on Infinite Earths Part 2. And uh, last episode, Oliver died. So uh, in the beginning of this episode, they're mourning his ass. And, and uh, the monitor shows up and he's just like, Hey, yo, uh, save, save your crying for later because we all know Oliver's coming back. And uh, he's just like, so um, here's what we're going to do. I need y'all to find a wave rider. And Sarah's just like, nah, fam. We ain't doing none of this. And uh, what's her name? Lila. She's just like, we don't need your ship, right? We need like a ship, a wave rider. So uh, Lila goes to like Earth 74 or something. I don't know. And uh, she goes over there and the wave rider looks like a piece of crap because <laughs> it's all rusted. <laughs> and she goes inside and uh, there's like a Leonard Snart Gideon. He's like doing voiceover, and I'm glad he's back because you know I love Snart. But um, <laughs> it's like the funniest joke of the episode because he's just like, he's like, oh, it's like welcome inside the ship. How would you like to die? <laughs> I just thought that was funny. I thought it was a funny joke. Anyway, um, then we see uh, uh, Mick Rory come out, and Mick's just been chilling for some reason inside the ship, and uh, Lila just like, yo, I need your ship, and he's just like. Yeah, okay. <laughs> like, it's no big deal. Some random ass woman teleporting everywhere. And you're just like, yeah, okay. After that, um, uh, the monitor just like, hey, yo, we need seven paragons in order to stop the anti-monitor because of reasons. And uh, he's just like, yo, uh, so uh, we need to find these seven dudes. And uh, one of the seven dudes is Supergirl because, of course, she is. And the second one is uh sarah and the monitor's just like yo we need seven of them and i only know the location of two more of them right one of them being uh, uh another superman who has lost everything and another is uh, the bat of the future if i'm remembering correctly and uh so they're just like yo dope like let's let's skedaddle let's bing bada boom so then the monitor just like whips out the book of destiny like what's up I had this all along. Like, he, like, wh whips it out like it's nothing. And I'm just like, wait, wait, we destroyed that thing. What the hell? And he's just like, oh, no, don't worry. I just went back in time and grabbed it. Like, what? <laughs> like, what the hell? What you mean? And uh, just so you know, uh, that book can rewrite reality. So um, why doesn't like, the monitor just, like, take the book and rewrite the damn reality? But then he's just like, oh, I'm too weak to do it or some bull crap like that. Oh, whatever. Anyway, um, after that, everybody's like, yo, so we got our mission, so, you know, we gotta go find another Superman, another Batman, let's, let's, let's get out. And then, Supergirl is hella sad, because her Earth got blown up last episode. And then, freaking Lex Luthor shows up, and, uh, apparently he died last episode, last, uh, season on, on Supergirl. And suddenly he's, like, here, and Supergirl's just like, what the hell, I'ma kill you. And then Monitor's just like, yo, chill, uh, I need his ass for something. And then uh, Supergirl got, gets hell angry because he's like, really? You're going to resurrect this piece of crap? Uh, he, like, you can't resurrect Oliver? And he's like, I am too weak to resurrect Oliver now. Like, he bullshitting. Like, I don't trust his ass. What the hell? Uh, anyway, so she's hell angry. And then Batwoman shows up and she's like, yo, Supergirl, come with me. I might need your help to convince Batman or whatever to come, you know, help us out with this crisis. And so, uh... Supergirl is just like, all right, let's go. So uh, during all this, uh, Lila is just walking around the ship, tripping balls. And uh, she just like stumbles upon uh, Lex Luthor. And he just like, he just took the book of destiny like it's no big deal. And he's just like, oh, hey, um, I'm going to go kill Superman. Okay, bye. <laughs> and like disappears. <laughs> Lila is just like, what the hell was that? And the monitor is just like, eh, it's cool. Don't worry about it. And Lila's just like, is you serious? What the hell's wrong with you? Um, anyway, uh, it turns out that Barry uh, wants to resurrect Oliver using the Lazarus Pit uh, with uh, Mia. And then uh, Sarah's just like, yo, that's a horrible ass idea. And then um, Mia's just like, it's my dad. You don't know my dad like I know my dad. Even though she's known him for like I don't know, two weeks or something. And, uh, you know, Sarah has known him for, like, years. But uh, Mia decides to act like a bitch. 
for a... Because she's me and she's a bitch. Uh, and she's like, oh, Nissa told me everything about you. So, I don't know. She's acting bitchy like she always does. So, uh, Batwoman and Supergirl, they go to, like, this alternate Earth. And uh, they meet Batman. And Batman happens to be Kevin Conroy as Batman. <laughs> now, for those of you who do not know, Kevin Conroy is the voice of Batman in the animated series and in the video games, like the Arkham series. So, uh, this is a pretty big deal, people. And um, he can't walk. He's like a paraplegic, but he has like an exoskeleton with him. And uh, he like walks up to uh, Batwoman and he's like, Ain't you dead? <laughs> I don't know why I found that funny, but I just did. So uh, Lex has been going around and uh, straight up killing uh, Supermans all across the world. Which, you know, doesn't make any sense because they're going to die anyway. But, uh, you know, whatever. And then we see, like, the death of Superman as a reference on TV. <laughs> I don't know why they recreated it, but whatever. I mean, it's a, it's, it's a pretty cool reference. Like. Then we see uh, Constantine show up. And Constantine's just like, yo, so you want to use the laser spit to bring back Oliver? And uh, he's just like, yo, I found you. Uh, the location of a laser spit using cigarettes. And then Sarah's just like, yo. You're going to bring it back, and you need to bring back his soul. And all Constantine's just like, mm, I don't know about all that, but, you know, I'll try. But, you know, don't get your hopes up. And uh, then um, Smallville, right? So for those of you who don't know what Smallville is, uh, Smallville was a Superman TV show back in the 2000s. And uh, people lost their minds at this because the original Superman comes back. You know, the Smallville Superman, he's just like, hey, what's up, peoples? I'm here, right? And so uh, the Supergirl Superman walks up to him. He's like, hey, yo, what's up? We need your help. And Superman is just like, nah, fam. I'm, I'm just out here chopping wood. And uh, then uh, Supergirl Superman gets like uh, uh, teleported away. And Lex shows up with a big ass book. And uh, he's just like, he goes up to Superman. He's just like, yo, I'm going to kill you. And he like gives him kryptonite. And Superman's just like, huh? And like yeets it like hella far away and then Lex is just like what the hell was that? <laughs> You're supposed to be like become sick when you touch kryptonite and then uh, Superman is just like yo I gave up my power so you know it doesn't work on me even though that, that makes literally zero sense but whatever and uh, then uh, Lex is just like you ain't even worth my time and like teleports out and uh, this Superman, he just, like, has a family now. So, you know, good for him, I guess. So, um, Kevin Conroy uh, talks to uh, Batwoman. And he's just like, yo, what's up? Uh, turns out I'm kind of evil. <laughs> and he, he, basically, he's been going around just, like, straight up killing people. Uh, Why well, he's been killing people um, is uh, reasons. I don't know. He's like, oh, I used to have a code. But then I killed somebody, and apparently I liked it, so I'm gonna go off and kill some more people. And, uh, you know, Batman was just like, how dare you do this, blah, blah, blah. You're supposed to be Batman, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a thing that will culminate later. Anyway, um, so a uh, regular-ass Superman goes to, like, this one Earth, right? And they bump into uh, another Superman, this one played by Brandon Routh. Now, this Superman is the, supposedly the same one from, like, the 1970s, the um, Christopher Reeves one. And he's played by Brown, Brandon Routh in the uh, movie, in, like, the 2006 one. So, this is basically Kingdom Come Superman. And uh, I'm so happy. <laughs> I love this right here, right? But um, this Superman... Um, his life has been kind of tragic because apparently Joker just came in and just like blew the hell out of all of his friends and family. So he's um, he's uh, lost a lot of things. So, um, oh boy. Anyway, uh, yeah, he's just like, yo, like there's like this whole ass board of people who have died in his life. And, uh, you know, he's like hella sad. 
but you know he's like yo like if you need my help i got y'all you know i'm still superman i'm still the goodest best boy ever and they're just like dope we got a superman on our side but then lex shows up with a big ass book and he's like psych <laughs> i'm gonna turn superman evil fight fight each other yo you guys kill each other i'm just gonna sit on the sidelines and just watch because why the hell not so two Superman fight each other and it looks kind of shady. I'm not gonna lie. The fight scene is like, it kind of looks good. Like when the two Superman punch each other and like the whole windows blow out. They actually look pretty cool. But uh, CGI does not look good in daylight, people. Like, you learn from your own mistakes, please. Because some of it was just like, ooh, I don't know about that. Anyway, uh, they start fighting. And then... Um, Lois just like takes this like, I don't know what the hell she takes, but she like basically knocks uh, Luther the hell out. And then uh, they try to use the book to uh, reverse the effects, but it doesn't work. So Lois is just like, yo, Superman, your Lois wouldn't want you to be evil. And he's just like, you're right. <laughs> he turns back into a good guy. <laughs> what the hell was that? So, uh... Sarah and Mia, they travel to a different Earth with a working Lazarus pit. And uh, they're trying to revive Oliver. But then uh, Jonah Hex shows up for like a quick second. And if you don't know who Jonah Hex is, go read some comics because I'm not going to explain. And he's just like, hey y'all, what y'all doing in my cave? And they're just like, yo, we got to use your pool. And Jonah's like, I dope, but I, 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 I want to rape Mia. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> and then they kick his ass, so... What was the point of that? <laughs> he like comes in and tries to rape Mia and then he gets his ass beat. What the hell was the point of all that? Anyway, so they grab Oliver, right? They throw him in the water. And uh, he like comes out of the water. But he's like hella crazy and everything. So uh, they shoot him up with some drugs and he, fall he goes to sleep. <laughs> so it turns out that uh, Kevin Conroy is a paraplegic because... Um, the Superman of that Earth, like, broke his back or something. But, uh, Kevin Conroy killed him. So, you know, it's an even trade, I think. And, uh, basically, uh, Kevin Conroy tries to, uh, beat the crap or kill, uh, Supergirl. But then Batwoman kicks him one time. And then he dies. Like a bitch. And, as you could probably surmise, I'm mad as hell about this because that's some bullshit. I'm a, I'm just I'm gonna I'm just keep past this because I'm gonna have a heart attack. So then they go back to the ship, and it turns out that Batwoman was the Paragon the whole time. This is some bullshit. You could have brought freaking Batman into the crossover, but no, you have to have freaking Batwoman kill him with a kick. <sighs> I'm moving past it. I'm sorry. Um. So yeah, it turns out that Constantine can't get uh, all of her soul back from uh, being in whatever the hell it is. Because apparently, uh, magic has stopped working for reasons. So, yeah. So, uh, Supergirl uh, talks to Batwoman. And uh, Supergirl's just like, yo, I'm gonna go use the book real quick. Uh, Batman, Batwoman's just like, why though? And Supergirl's just like, I want to bring back a whole ass universe. And uh, Batwoman is just like, that sounds like a stupid idea. <laughs> Bro, that's, that's next episode stuff. Um, then we see Lila, she's still tripping balls. And then uh, she gets teleported. And then she meets the Anti-Monitor. And he looks like a piece of crap. <laughs> anyway, um, you know the joke from Deadpool? The like avocado with banged another avocado or something? Yeah, he looks like that. Like, he even looks worse than Deadpool, if, to put it in, into perspective. He looks like crap. Anyway, um, that was the episode, and uh, I kind of hated parts of it. Um, I was annoyed with Supergirl's episode, uh, you know, but that's because of Supergirl crap. This one, uh, I got mad at a certain parts of it, because, like, um, Jonah Hex was useless. He just tried to rape people. Um, Batman died like a bitch, and I'm still pissed about that. And, um, not a lot happened this episode, you know, there's like finding Paragon. So this was kind of a filler episode. So, uh, I don't know. I just, certain parts of this thing just pissed me the hell off. You know, 
it's not a bad episode. It's like a 6 out of 10. But, you know, still, like, I was expecting a lot more from this crossover, to be honest. But, you know, that's just me. So, uh, yeah, please sound off in the comments. Please tell me what y'all think. But uh, that's it for now. So, you know, peace out. Thank <laughs> you.